know what? It's just like, what can you do? Oh, oh my God, it's so cold. I should have got a snack, but I just like didn't feel like it. <laughs> not, not the version the day after. That's funny. I did not take my extensions out. Um, I actually got them just cut so that they would be a little bit healthier looking because the ends were so dead. I really need to get new extensions, but I'm going to wait until after the wedding um, to get new ones because, yeah, I just feel like I'm trying out some different hair lengths to see what I want for the wedding and then I'll get new ones either right before the wedding or right after because I'm debating kind of like chopping it all off halfway through the wedding. I feel like that'd be really fun to like drastically cut it. I've seen videos and I think that it was really cute but yeah I just don't I don't know. I don't know my hair you guys I go back and forth you've probably seen if you guys have watched me for a couple years like I go back and forth with my hair and right now I love the long hair like I love the extensions but I just they're a lot to manage and when it's winter time if you live in a cold area where you're like wearing coats all the time and you have long hair or fake hair whatever it's really annoying because it gets so bunched up in the back and like really dead and just horrible excuse me so um, that's another reason I don't like it to be long in the winter time is just because it gets so like nasty in the back. I kind of want to turn this light off. It's my little plant thing. that's <laughs> so bright, but it makes the rest of the house look kind of funny. Oh my gosh. I've been, so last night I went to bed. I don't even know what time it was. Sometime around like early eight o'clock, if not before. And I laid with, if you guys saw my story, then you know this already, but I fell asleep with Aura she wanted to sleep in my bed and because it's her birthday today, I was like, fine, fine, fine. So I fell asleep with her, which I hate doing at that time because now today, like at seven o'clock, I was like done, ready for bed. It's so hard for me to stay awake, which is funny because I'm a night owl, but I don't know. I just feel so tired. I feel like I go through these phases where I get so tired and I don't know if it's because I'm oversleeping or if it's because I'm just Lucy really like overtired you know what I mean <sighs> we get Lucy these bones that have stuff in the middle <laughs> they're so loud and annoying but she loves them so we keep buying them because they're good for her but like good for her in the sense of keeping her busy and but they're so annoying like, if she's eating it upstairs and we're downstairs, you can hear it through the floor. <laughs> I have my energy drink because I was drinking this because Alea had two dance classes today. She had her normal competitive dance practice. And then she had another dance class that she has, like, four, I think four or five um, special practices for. It's for, like, a specific performance that they do. So, anyways... She did two hours of dance today, but like split up and I was like barely making it. So we had some energy drink that we still haven't finished. I wish I was that type of person that could drink an energy drink and it would work. <laughs> like, you know, people are like, I can't have caffeine past three o'clock. I wish it worked like that for me. I could have caffeine and fall asleep. I fall asleep better with caffeine. You put on a crime show and give me a cup of coffee <laughs> and I'll fall asleep. It's the best combination. What have you guys been up to? Tell me your life. I feel like I'm just always ranting about mine. I need to know about yours. What are you doing? What do you love right now? What do you hate? Are you getting enough sleep? I also wore self tanner because I traveled this last weekend and um, I hadn't worn it in a while and I really liked it and now it wore off and now I feel like I look ill again. So annoying. What did you do to celebrate Aura's birthday? So Aura, this actually worked out with Levi too when his birthday happened last week or the week before. Um, it was on a day where we 
or no, that didn't happen with Levi's. But today, anyways, is the day that I switched with their dad. So I had all of the kids in the morning, like normal and Aura, and we did her balloon tradition with the waking her up with a cupcake and all the kids had cupcakes for breakfast and then got ready for school, dropped the kids off at school. Aura starts preschool next week, but she didn't start yet. So she, she came back home with me like normal and we made breakfast and I let her open one present. And then this weekend on Saturday, we're having a dress up theme birthday party. I'm so excited. So that's gonna happen, yeah, on Saturday. Honeymoon, oh my gosh, how fun. Guys, I'm more excited for my honeymoon than my wedding. Like I, the wedding is so stressful at this point and like it's just money, 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 money is like all I can think of. So I'm so excited because the honeymoon is like, I mean, it's expensive, but it's, it's a longer, it's like a two week occurrence. Whereas like, you know, the wedding is just this really short couple hour thing that costs so much money. And it's just hard for me to not justify it. Cause I don't want to make it seem like I don't want that. You know, it's just, it's crazy. Like I always knew they were expensive, but every freaking venue is like 15 to $30,000. And then there's like a food minimum and like all this shit. And I'm like, I am not spending a hundred thousand dollars on my wedding. Absolutely not. So I debate every day. <laughs> I think I said this last time <laughs> running to the courthouse. Oh my gosh. Yes. I feel like everybody's just like tired right now. I think it's a thing. Love Island games. <gasps> oh my gosh. I forgot that was on. I need to get it. I need to get the app because so fiance and I love Love Island, but we've never been able to like vote live, you know, cause we were always watching old seasons. So we were excited about this Love Island games because hopefully there's like interactions like that. Obviously this is the first season of that concept, but anyways, I need to get the app. I forgot about it. It came out yesterday, right? Yes, we saved and did a backyard wedding and was gifted my dress, which was most expensive. See, okay, we've thought about the backyard wedding thing, except the backyard options that we have, we don't love the locations of, for one. Two, we're getting married in January, so it's so damn cold. So we can't really get married in a backyard. <sighs> Only two episodes so far. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't believe I forgot this. How are you watching it? Because I don't think we can watch it like we watch normal Love Island because it's not like a past episode. You know? You know what I mean? <laughs> I know. See, I just feel like everybody is. This is the witch's brew this Alani that I'm drinking. It's really good. It's my favorite. It's probably my favorite one that they have. I love the Kim Kardashian one too. Um, but I really like this one. It's funny because they're always out of stock. So when I went to Walmart a couple, like a week ago, I picked up a pack cause I saw they had them. And then I had a friend come over that day and she brought me a whole box too. Cause she knows they're never in stock. So now I have two boxes of them. The winner of the giveaway is on the giveaway picture. If you go back and look at that, I also messaged the girl who won the Peacock app. Okay, so that's what I was wondering. Do I have to like watch it on a certain channel or something? You know, I don't know how those like live shows work where you're watching as it comes on. Peacock is what we normally, I believe, have watched it on. Guys, I'm so bad. Every time I turn on my TV and I go to watch something, like the show, like Law & Order, I've watched that show forever on everything that's ever been on and for some reason every time I got to turn the tv on um I forget what app anything is on so I have to go through all the freaking apps or I have to if fiance is next to me I'll just be like what what app is this on and he right away gets it if I try to make that guess then I'm screwed and then I just have to go through every app because I'm wrong the first time we've also speaking of tv shows we've been loving uh bad no not Desperate Housewives. They call it something else now. 
the real housewives. I love the Jersey one, but we just started the Salt Lake one like a month ago. It's pretty interesting. It's just, it's very different because obviously Jersey versus like Mormonville, <laughs> they're different, but it's still interesting. Emily, you are on time. I am on time. Can we believe it? I didn't fall asleep. I wanted to. I wanted to fall asleep at like seven, but I was like, girl, they'll kill you. They will kill you. I don't know why. And a part of me tonight is like, should I stay up until like 11 or 12 like I normally do so that I can see if I'm really tired or not? <laughs> Are you all caught up on Virgin River? I can't wait for part two of this season. I think I have like two more episodes to go. This season has been slower for me. One, I've been, I have been way busier than normal the past two months, so it's taken me a while. But other than that, I don't know. I just also don't, I'm really sad. I don't wanna give anything away, okay? So I'm gonna say something about Virgin River. Well, maybe I'll just be careful about it. But their decision to, with the like miscarriage thing it really bothered me. I feel like, you know what a show like Grey's Anatomy, if you guys ever watched that, they just, they kill too many people off or they like do these things too many times and then it's just like, okay, I'm like pissed off now. Why can't we just, that was our chance, you know? So now I'm like, ugh, whatever. I still love it, but. Animal Kingdom on Prime, and it's a good older show, but it's so captivating. I haven't heard of that one. I lost interest in that show last season. I really like it. It's just one of those shows that you have to be sitting and like staring at it to stay engaged. You know what I mean? Because even though it's a great background show, because it doesn't really matter if you watch it or not, if it is a background show, you're never going to get fully invested. I have no idea who those people are. I don't think. I'm really bad with names, maybe if I saw their faces. But also, it's not my business. I feel bad for them, if anything, because breakups are so hard. Oh my gosh. Fiance got this cup from work. <sighs> and I love a new cup. There's nothing like it. Do you watch Game of Thrones? Yes. What is the new... Remind me to ask Fiance when he comes upstairs. Because they made an, like, an off. So we watched Game of Thrones. And then they came out with the other... Like, not spin-off, but it was, like, from years before Game of Thrones, I think is how it went. I did not like that one at all. I think there's only one season of that out right now because, again, the miscarriages and the babies dying was way too fucking much for me. Like, can we stop with all that? I hate that every show. House of Dragons. Yes. It's too much. Like, I get it. You have to put these unexpected things in shows and, like, that's really shocking or whatever. I don't like it. Like, it's... This, I think they even had like a stillbirth, stillbirth and I just couldn't keep up. It made me really frustrated towards the end and I just felt like every episode I had to keep looking away. Have you watched American Horror Stories? This season is so good. I haven't, but I want to because I know Kim Kardashian was on one of the episodes and I love Kim Kardashian, you guys. I have always been a huge fan, sometimes more than others, but... And I don't mind, I want to say, with all the, like, miscarriages and stuff, it's not that I mind, like, gory. It's not my favorite. I don't love, like, super gory shows. I'm more of a reality TV show person. Um, or, like, Virgin River shows like that. But it's when it comes to, like, babies. Like, I don't like that stuff. It just bothers me. Grey's Anatomy, I they, I think the problem, they just like, it went on for too long. You know, we, we didn't need, to, we could have been done 10 seasons ago. I think season six is when I was like, done. Again, also killing off freaking characters all the time and babies. I 
I get it, but it's just, I just think it's so weird that they keep, that's become such a major part of the House of Dragon stuff, and I just can't stand it. The Witcher, I've never heard of. Yes, I, I'm not gonna lie, I have a Stanley. It's cute, I like the aesthetic. I like how often now that they're coming up with cups, even though I got mine a long time ago, I haven't gotten a new, one of the new ones. But I'm not super impressed. I don't love the, um, what did I not like about it? I'm drawing a blank all of a sudden because I started thinking about the difference between this one and that one. Um, there was something specific, I talked about it on my stories, but there's something specific that I didn't really love. Uh, and one, the price point, obviously. I loved the handle though. That's how Stanley got so big is because their handles, like it is so convenient. But now that they have this one and all, like this is a simple modern, but um, a lot of brands, like Owala is my favorite. I got a new one that was pink. I left it at my friend's house a, a girl's night <laughs> weeks ago and I haven't gotten it. It was literally the day after I got it. But those are my favorite. But these ones are also really good. Um, you can get them on Amazon or Target and it holds the ice or keeps the ice icy for longer than the Stanleys do. Like once you start, if you like the Stanleys, listen, everybody's their own person, but try these ones or the Owala ones. They are better. And I'm not even fine. If you want to spend more money on the Stanley, like go for it. I don't care what you do with your money. But as far as quality goes, I don't think Stanleys are that good. The simple modern is more leak proof. I haven't really tested that to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know. That might be true. Paris, you might be right. I just don't like to watch it. Wilderness. No, you guys know what other show I started recently to like background during the day while I'm working or whatever. Um, oh my God, you guys are going to die when I say this because... It's just not at all me. What show am I thinking of? Although either is Game of Thrones, but. Survivor. I started watching Survivor and it's really good. And I always knew it was like kind of good or whatever. Like it must have been, right? It's popular. Everybody knows that show. So it must be pretty good. I started watching it and I am interested. Like it's good. I know, I wanted to tip it over when I saw that it was leak proof, but I'm like, what if it's not? <laughs> and it spills all over me. Survivor, it, you guys, it is really good. If you haven't watched it, even if you think like you're not that type of person, you're lying to yourself because I am not a nature going gal. Like, no thank you, sometimes. But even when I do, it's like, I'm trying, you know, it's not a natural thing, which is funny because I lived in Montana for so much of my life but no, maybe that's why I don't like it. However, the show is just good. I feel like there's way more to the show than just being in on a hike, you know? What was your Halloween outfit? That is a great question. So every year I've dressed up with the kids. I've done the family costume. I've done all of it, right? I mean, Levi is eight. So for like eight years, I've dressed up, the kids have dressed up and we've dressed up together. And then even I think it was last year, I don't, I have my memory, I don't know. I dressed up as my own thing, I think. And they dressed up. I'm for sure gonna have like serious remembering problems because I already do. Anyways, this year I was gonna dress up. I actually got the costumes for fiance and I to be Britney Spears and the astronaut from her music video. If you follow him on Instagram, I posted it. Or no, I posted it on my Instagram. And he reposted it, whatever. Point is, we decided not to do it. I did because the kids were having so much fun dressed up. And it was just one of those things where I was like, I love, I love social media. This is not me shitting on social media. And I loved seeing everybody's costumes. It was really cute to see, especially the family costumes are so fun to watch be put together and see like the efforts and what people pick and like the creativity, all of that. But my kids didn't give a shit if I dressed up and like they were having so much fun dressing up on their own that it felt just like 
I'm strictly doing this for social media. You know, like I was dressing up to take a picture and post on Instagram and it was just like, I don't, this is weird. I don't need to dress up, especially um, the kids and I, I had the kids for all of Halloween. I mean, they went to school and did all that, but they dressed up for school. And then we did a bunch of like Halloween things after school. And then later at night, their dad picked them up and took them to, I think trick or treating, or I think they did something Halloween-y together. So I didn't even go trick or treating. So even more of a reason that I was like, what, why, <laughs> why am I dressing up? You know? So basically no, I didn't. We didn't end up dressing up and we saved the costumes in case of like next year. And especially another thing to add to that is all the kids picked their own costumes this year. It's very different when your kids are all really young, like really, really young, where you're still choosing costumes for them because then the family costumes make sense. At this age, like all of my kids wanted to pick their own thing, you know, like they don't want to all be the same category or all be whatever. So Aura is at the age and even Avery where I could have asked them to do like a family costume. But because the other kids were picking their own, I felt like you guys can just have fun and pick your own anyways. So long story short, we did not dress up. And I felt like it was really fun because also this was your the first year where, um, you know, we didn't vlog it because we don't show the kids anymore. Like... Halloween was just Halloween. There was no social media side to it. And so it was really fun to just enjoy Halloween for Halloween, if that makes sense. I have not started Christmas shopping yet. With all the birthdays, you guys, last week was Levi's. This week was Aura's. Next week is mine. I don't really celebrate mine, but fiance is making mine special. We're going out of town for the couple of days that the kids are with their dad. So it's just been a lot of holidays. And then we have... Thanksgiving coming up so one thing at a time for me right now it's been really crazy and like the dance world also right now there's so many recitals and practices and it's just a lot I love it but it's a lot so Christmas shopping probably will not take place till Black Friday I do want to do most of my shopping on Black Friday I've started my list of what I want to get um and like the budgets that I'm setting for each kid because that's another thing I'm trying to just get better at is we have the wedding and the honeymoon and just all these goals and then tearing down this house and building a new house. I'm trying to be better at really being stricter with my budgets because I've always tried to have budgets and then I'm just like, well, but I want like something nicer or something better and it's like I'm trying to not do that so. Thank you, Katie. I'm really trying. I don't feel like I'm very good at it, but you know, I'm figuring it out and I'm really happy with right now, at least the balance of like social media and my kids, because to be quite honest, like when I started not showing them, I didn't know where that would lead. I still don't know like if that will ever change or not, but I just kind of went with, well, we, went with our instinct because even their dad who you guys know does social media too like we made that decision together and I didn't really know where it was gonna lead or if I was gonna like it like long term because my kids really do love social media and I know they're young and like how can they make that choice but it was hard for them they were sad being told that they couldn't be on camera or make these certain videos you know so anyways, I didn't know where that would lead and I feel like I'm really happy with where it's led and finding a balance between my content because I also feel like I, it's slowly becoming more of my hobby again and it's always been a hobby but also my job and I feel like I'm finding a really happy medium where it's something that's my creative space now, it's just about me and just about, you know, talking about my kids but also my relationship and also me as a person without putting pressure of like showing anybody or anything am I making sense I feel like I'm not really making sense but hopefully you guys get the gist of what I'm saying so 
yeah, it's been interesting to navigate, but it's been a really good thing and it's been really fun and forced me to be creative and more lighthearted about social media because also like on Levi's birthday, this is a great example. Um, I started vlogging because I wanted to vlog. I wanted to have that for memory's sake. And a lot of people think it's a lot deeper than that when you show your kids on social media. And I guess I can't speak to everybody for everybody, but for me personally, I genuinely loved the memories, you know, and I would look back on these birthday videos and so that a part of that still makes me really sad because I don't have as many of those memories documented and posted online, right? And realistically, I am not filming them and keeping them on my own because I, that's an option, but, um, you know, I'm not realistically doing that. So where was I going with that? Oh, on his birthday, I started to vlog and I was like, okay, I just won't show his face and, um, or any of the other kids face and we'll just go throughout this birthday and I'll still have the memory of it without showing him. And then as the day went on, one, there was way too much going on for me to be worried about a camera and then it felt wrong. And then it felt like, I just got a weird email. Um, I felt like I was putting more energy into the video and my camera and giving all of that attention rather than the kids, you know, and Levi's birthday. So I put the camera down, stopped filming all of it, and it was just way better. Like I wasn't worried about the angle or if I was accidentally showing somebody's face or any of that, you know, it was just about his birthday. And I thought that that was definitely worth it and a really I'm glad that I made that choice that was a really long explanation for that sorry what's your favorite thing that's happened to this year so far I feel like you've had a big year oh my gosh I know I feel like it's been 10 years in one that's a really good question What's my favorite thing? I mean, obviously like getting engaged and getting just into like a solid, I feel like I really just found my solid place in life, you know, and like that feels really good and it feels really accomplishing. So definitely that, um, I feel like I've really made changes like as a mom that I've always wanted to do and that feels really good as well so I don't know you're talking about house of dragons oh how they always have the miscarriages and stuff yeah that's rough huh yes I couldn't remember the name of the show but then somebody brought it up yes. Have I found myself yet? This is a great question. I don't think you ever stop finding yourself. And I think if you ever feel that you do, it's probably not a good thing. You should always like strive to find out more and be a better version of yourself. Um, but yeah, sorry, I got distracted. But yes, I think I found the best version of myself right now. Like, I feel like I've really found my happy place and who I want to be as like a mom and a fiance and a person who shares their life online. I've definitely created boundaries for myself, which I also think is a really good thing. I think all adults lack to realize how little boundaries we all have for the people around us or the things that we have going on in our life. And I feel like I've put my foot down, you know, and it's been a really good thing. Some people don't like me for it, but <laughs> that's okay. That's usually what happens. How was your shower? Did you shower? Yeah, it was so nice. Hi, Lucy. Lucy stood guard the whole time, didn't you, mama? No, she came up here. Oh, she. When I got out, she was just laying right by the. Did you floor. do the laundry or no? No, I'll wait till you edit. I was gonna say that's probably while she was up here. Our honeymoon, we. 
cool. Have not planned any bit of it, but we do know we want to go to Africa. That's what we know. I wanted to find a travel advisor, I think is what they're called, and have them help with us. We need to do that this week. We also need to finalize exactly what we want for the wedding so that we can make sure we've got all the vendors like reached out to. Okay, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Will you ever stop being an influencer? <laughs> I always feel like that's so funny to say because I definitely don't feel like that, you know, like, I don't know, that's a big word, but I think that, can you guys tell my brain is all over the place tonight? I will always create videos in some sort of way. I love meeting people online in this way and also just having a creative space for me, like I said earlier, so I can't imagine, I mean, if the whole world can hate me and I'm still on here making videos like nobody does, <laughs> I think that answers the question for you. I definitely want to do what I do now for a very long time. What kind of food for the wedding? Oh, the cheapest option yeah, ever. I don't want tacos. A little paper bags full of snacks. I'm just kidding. I would love, to be honest, I want like appetizers endless appetizers that just sounds like my ideal thing like who do, what adult doesn't love to snack but i guess like you're supposed to have like a formal dinner <laughs> see i'm not good at this <laughs> taco bar is an option that is one of the main things that we're looking into it's just a lot of the venues that i like a little fancier they don't look very cute with like tacos but again whatever's gonna be affordable What was your rock and rose for the day? Is that supposed to be like peach and pit? I think so. My rock and rose. Ooh, that's, that's kind of really cute. What was my rock? Oh my gosh, what even happened today? Levi had a tough day. Yes, Levi did have a tough day. I think that, that was my rock. My rose. It's Ori's birthday. What? Or his birthday. Definitely or his birthday, but like a specific moment was this morning, Aura and I were playing with her toy that she got for her birthday, and she always just amazes me with how smart she is. She's secret about it. Like she doesn't want you to know that she, it's like she's the baby of the family, you know? So she wants you to think she's just incapable and needs all the help in the world and she can't even get up. She needs you to carry her. But when we were playing this game, and we, I have a lot of moments like this with her where I realized, like, oh my gosh, you are so smart. But today I had a lot of that where I was just like, wait, you know all these shapes and you didn't tell me? <laughs> Miss Rachel, we have to give Miss Rachel all the credit in the world. I think that she deserves every parent's salary, like at least 50% because she's doing more than half the work out here. Any chance of Vlogmas? You guys, so badly, I want to do Vlogmas. You have no idea. Did you say what's that? Are you trying to be disowned? Well, what is it? Is it like what it sounds like? You just vlog Christmas? <laughs> Vlogmas is where you vlog every day for December, honey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest struggle is... The okay, here's my thing. I can't just start. Well, actually, I can't start filming. If I actually have a folder on my computer called footage of all the days I've started vlogging and just not finished, I need some. I need. I need the the protein to the meal. Okay, like if I don't have a title and thumbnail in mind for that video, which I know I'm taking away from the authenticity by saying that. Let me just tell you that's every person on the internet that you watch. They had an idea. For that title and thumbnail the rest isn't as planned but usually you have like something to talk about or you know there's a reason there's 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 meat to the video oh. what are you moaning about over there he's got knocked out he's watching football um so that's my problem with vlogmas even if it's like little things like you know talking about this is a bad idea but coming up with it instantly is like my two-year-old update you know Back when I showed the kids that was like a really 
just a th title and thumbnail, but there was way more to the video. Oh, so I'm just trying to think of what, can I come up with that many videos? Especially because you guys, my life is very routine. As a mom, very unroutinely routine. As a mom of four, we have the same schedules Monday through Friday. And I just feel like that would be really boring to show every day. Not that our life is boring because there's always some chaotic shit. I've just, I don't know. I want to do it. Do you get what I, am I making sense? Not really, but kind of. Listen. In a dysfunctional way you are. See, and that's how the vlogs would be. So I want to do it and I just need to stop being so strategic about it and just be like, just film. And definitely something happens every day in your life that you would be able to freaking post it and have people care, right? So. If you just made a, a video that was titled unfinished videos slash random clips, there'd be like three hours worth of footage. That's what I'm saying. I have so much random vlogs that I just didn't finish because I'm like, people don't care. You can do a vlog list of unfinished videos. <laughs> Decorating your tree, going to a light show, making it. So, see, I, guys, I know there's stuff that I could vlog, like for sure. It's not the lack of content or the things that I do in a day. It's the lack of interesting title and thumbnails, you know? Because if I'm going to like put that much work and effort and time into filming all day, every day for December, I am gonna want people to watch it. Like, I know that, uh, like, <sighs> I feel like I'm. Just this do it. What's the worst that can happen? I don't know. People don't care, and then I'm sad. <laughs> People are always going to care because they hate you. This is true. The haters will always show up. If and if there's anybody who's going to show up, the haters will be there. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I just overthink it and worry too much. I just, I don't want to like take away from time with the kids to film and stuff, and then not end up posting it. And see, I'm just. I overthink it. I overthink it. It's scary. They're putting them on a stretcher. Who? The guy that got knocked out. I don't think I think they're worried about his neck. And his spine. Did they replay it already? Yeah, he, he hit the back of his head on the grass as he he went for a ball. And this hit the that was bound to happen this game. They suck. They suck! Back of his head. Is he knocked out? Yeah, look at him. Oh my spray. lordy. All these new helmets, they're trying to cushion the front. Mm -hmm. And they're, they, it's always the same. They, they need to figure out a helmet that can like, withstand the back of the head blows. Because that's when you get knocked out. You get knocked out in the back of your head or the side of your head. And then you get knocked out hitting the front of your head. Well, listen. Every time I've been knocked out, I've been on the front or the side. Every time I've been knocked out, it's been on the side, too. <laughs> Guys, okay, I, I think we should just commit to Vlogmas. For November, I'm going to commit to three times a week. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> The other problem besides all the shit I just named is editing. Like editing is time consuming and I know I'm just a lazy lady, but I don't fucking have time. <laughs> so I need to figure out a way in my day to like set aside a couple hours to do it because I will say out of all of the people that I've been around who make content, similar content as me, different content to as than me. <laughs> um, I'm pretty quick at editing. So I can do it in like four hours. But the problem is, is that, like having enough content at that point. So yeah, guys, I need to just shut up and do it. Like grow up. That's what fiance would say. Grow up. Guys, whenever we argue, which is never, God, why would we? We're so healthy. 
he always, well, he doesn't anymore. He used to always I'm say, just... grow up. <laughs> but now every time, <laughs> now I tell him, just grow up. And now it's, and even I got my dad on it. So like, we all are just like, grow up. <laughs> so it doesn't work in a fight anymore. If there's something that drives you nuts like that in an argument, just make it a joke. It's and then good, it never. It's a good icebreaker when we're arguing too. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's especially funny because you're, you're littler than me. No, I'm not. Yeah, huh? I was born in 95. <laughs> well, then I'm not interested. <laughs> What's on your wish list this Christmas? That is a great question. What did I see today? He's getting his notes out. I have some skincare products that are $150 each. Yeah. So I'll make sure to send you that link. That Vitality jumpsuit. What? You sent me a Vitality jumpsuit. Let me see. I don't have What is a link. Vitality jumpsuit? You sent it to is me. Is this appropriate? It's a jumpsuit. It's not lingerie or anything. Jumpsuit? Yeah. Like a jumpsuit. Like a onesie that's long. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I have a bra. Yeah, I need new bras. I, all the time, that's I'm always true. trying to get shit I don't want to buy for myself. I don't enjoy, enjoy buying myself jeans, bras, underwear. Like, that's boring. So I would rather like you pick that stuff out and buy it for me. He's adding underwear. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny? Pants? He, he's adding pants. No. What else? I feel like there was something recently that I was like, yeah, I really want new pots and pants. I know this is not fun. I know. I know it's not cute. All right. But I want new pots and pants. And I told him about it for my birthday and I can tell he doesn't give a shit. Are you excited for your birthday? If you got me pots and pans, Let's figure it out. I am excited because for my birthday we're going out of town, which I mentioned. What I'm really excited about is the jacuzzi. You got a whole day planned. Out. Don't even talk to me when I'm there. Just leave me alone. You know what? You don't even have to come. I just want to be in the jacuzzi. <laughs> I'm just kidding, honey. I would love, jacuzzi. I would love you to, for you to be there. If you're not, it's fine. <laughs> but I just really want the jacuzzi. I love jacuzzis. I am a Say it. Whore. Yeah. Like the trashiest whore you know for a jacuzzi. Absolutely, yes. Any day, anytime, I'll be there. You could put everybody I've ever been on a bad page with. A, what, what would you even say that? Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Yeah. Yep. And as long as there's a jacuzzi, <laughs> shit, I'll show up. Why not? <laughs> The Tula Pumpkin Exfoliator is amazing. I love Tula. I think every one of their products is 9,000 out of 10. Like, so good. I'm actually running out of exfoli exfoliator. Today, I bought a new beauty blender, which you guys know, that's a rare occurrence. Nobody ever really buys new ones of those. You just keep using it, keep washing it, keep using it. But I did buy a new one. Can you look up Judy Blue Jeans? If this is going to be insulting. You never know these days. It's a brand. Oh, you would like them. I'd like them? Yeah. Let me see. They're like... Yeah, you would like them. When will you guys build... So, I'm seeing a lot of different pairs of jeans. Well, it's the, the brand is Judy Blue. Oh. I think. Um, okay, building. I really want to build, start building by the end of the next year. But. Well, after it snows. This year? No, in next year. Like, March, April of next year, ideally. So, the beginning of next year. Yeah. So, a couple months after we get married. He has, no, no, he no, did a line of cocaine downstairs. Not a line, like six months. That's what I was like, what? You mean um, the next, next yeah. year? See? See? That's so cute. But I just don't know if I can make it that long. 
<sighs> I okay, here's the thing. I really want to tear down this house and build because this land that we have in the location that we have it is perfect. I mean, that's why we, obviously that's that's how we got here, okay? That's why we bought this house from the freaking 20s. But um it's just which we knew going into this, like having four kids, eventually five kids in this house is a lot. Um, it's not a ton of space and it works right now, but I don't, I'm just trying to be patient and it's taking a lot of patience and we don't really have a lot of options because with doing the wedding and everything, like there's so much going on in our lives, like financially and so we're also going on two, two freaking trips next year that are out of the U.S. So very expensive trips, which I, I want to do that. Like one of them is with, um, it's us. And then, London. yeah, my dad and my stepmom, just like we did this year when we went to London, which is so crazy to say out loud. Um, and then our honeymoon, which is in Africa for two weeks. So there are definitely things that I want to do, but it's just. It's so much. So I feel like we're trying to save for so many things at the same time. And realistically, starting to build our house at the end of next year is not totally realistic. But I, I love to go for unrealistic. That's just what I kind of very on brand. So we'll see. But either way, whether it be the end of next year or the beginning of the year after, um, we're still decide we'll we'll decide once we have the money in the bank account if we want to tear this down and build our dream home or tear this down, put two like rental properties on it because there's enough room for two um, houses that are probably like three bedroom ish. Yeah, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then buy our dream home. So we'll decide that, but yeah. I'm just not a patient person. You guys, it's so bad. Are you going to try it for a honeymoon baby? So I want to make a video eventually talking about like our ideal baby plans. Those are still not set in stone though. You guys know me and change my mind. We literally at one point were talking about when we wanted to have a baby and then we decided and then I FaceTimed him because I was out of town and was like, I think we should wait a couple years and he, he, he's laughing. She just does like opposite of what I want. For half these things. <laughs> Whatever he wants that day, I want the opposite. And no, but once I agree I with her, it's no, I'm good. Like I just listen. I really want two more kids. I've I've from the beginning of time, I came out the womb of my mother, wanting and knowing I would have six kids, some way or somehow, adopting, surrogacy, myself, my own hoochie coochie, and so I want that. And I want it now, like today. Let's cons let's end this and get to it. But then the other part of me is like, I have four really young kids and I just want to be able to give them as much attention and love as they each need individually and as siblings. And uh, it's just so hard to choose in life. When is the right time for all these things, right? So I feel like I need to let go and let God, you know? So <laughs> I might get on here tomorrow and be like, I actually am ready to try for a baby now. What's your favorite and least favorite things about your house now? That's a really good question. Okay. I love that. It's not like every other Utah house around here because it's from the twenties, <laughs> but also it's just, it has character. It being an older house, there's a lot of like unique things to it. And I feel like things hold up strong about this house because it was built so many years ago. Years and years ago, so many years and years and years ago. Whereas like nowadays, I've lived in many new builds and they all were built by Ikea pretty much. And even the million dollar homes, you everything breaks in like a second. So I like the quality and the uniqueness of it. Um, I also really do love our land and the opportunity and the financial side of it. But I hate that it's small for how many people that live here. Um, I hate that 
there is always something to fix just because it is old. I hate that even when we upgrade something, there's still more things that need to be upgraded, but we kind of don't want to upgrade it because we know we won't live in this house for very long. So very materialistic things I feel like, and I feel like I'm just being a whiny bitch when I complain about them, but they're things that go on in my head. Okay guys, I'd be lying if I said they weren't. Stay and pray. <sighs> I like that one. We should try that tonight. <laughs> what would be the age gap for the next two? We haven't really talked about that. I wouldn't want I, I like how your two oldest and two youngest I like their age gap. Yeah, I think or also your, your body too. Yeah, being 26, like, I don't really want to have kids when I'm 30. To each their own. I'm not judging people to do. To most people, that is what they would want to do. Um, but considering I started having kids at 18, I don't want to, like, spread out newborns for that long. So I would say after we have one, wait. Six months. And then start to conceive. Nine months, a year. I don't know. Fuck. Don't listen to him. Six months. I'm new to this. I I'm still know. breastfeeding. I am new to this. You're new here? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just new here. I would say at least a year and then try to get pregnant again. Because also I have to not, I have to be able to be able to be able to get pregnant. <laughs> you know? Does it depend on your C-sections? Yes, that's the thing too. Like after we have our next one, it will depend on if my body can have another one or not. That being said, there's still other ways to have babies and we would take those routes because we, we definitely want, yeah, two more. Mm. Mm -mm. What are y'all's pet peeves with each other? Everything. I know he hates with me. everything. Holy hell, I can't drink water to save my life. <laughs> Don't. Nobody asked you to. <laughs> she told me yesterday. She said, I don't even know why you drink water. You don't need it to survive. But like, what? No, not as much as you drink. You don't need to drink that much water. Relax. <laughs> he drinks so much water. And like, you know, when you can just hear somebody drink, it's like, even if I'm in love with you, you just went down a point. Stop. It's so loud, you know? But you are that way with me and eating. Yeah. That's why I don't really complain about it. Yeah, but... You could just not do it. <laughs> just don't eat. Don't eat. I don't know. He also always leaves the damn dishwasher open. You guys may have remembered no, that. That was that, one of the first oh things that, that I ever was because like. Because I don't know if it's clean or dirty. And I know if it's open, it's dirty. And then I have to close it to wash it. And I wash it before. And now, the past two, three weeks, I close it and I forget to start it. And then we wake up in the morning and I put dirty dishes away because they usually start it. <laughs> So when my grandma Kathy was here, oh, dude. she loves to help. And I love my grandma because she is so helpful. She is like too good for this earth. But you know, she, she'll she just start doing things. So she put away the dirty Like dish. I said, I, I have my routine. Yeah, so Preston is in charge. Oh my God, I just said his name. <gasps> Preston is in charge of the dishwasher and the dishes. But... <laughs> Not in Grandma Kathy's eyes. In Grandma Kathy's eyes, she's in charge of everything. So she was putting the dishes away. I'm assuming at her house, like, they're just always clean. Like, she'll put four things in there and wash it and put it away. Because that's all that two people use. So, whatever. She did that twice where she took all the dirty dishes out of the dishwasher and put them away. Well, each time, whatever. <laughs> I'd put them all back or you'd put them all back and then we'd wash them and life would go on. Well, then she left and it was funny because he's never done this, but then he put away yeah, all like the... four or five times since. <laughs> he's put all the dirty <laughs> dishes away. And I'm like, okay, guys, can we all just stop? Because there's, there's a lot of us in here. When it's full, that shit is stacked. Like <laughs> when you're putting it away, that means every dish that I go to grab... Now it's dirty. So we have to put all the silverware back in there. It's a whole thing. But so I, I've done it because I usually run it at night. And then before I leave for work, I, I unload it so that it's open for the day. You don't have to worry about this stuff because she hates doing dishes. 
Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right. So it's open for the day. So all she has to do is just stick them in there. Which? Which is a whole nother thing. But, <laughs> but I've done that. And because I'm closing the dishwasher now, because it's a pet peeve of Kira's, I forget to start it. I, th- I would say that's your one of your pet peeves about me is how many dishes I use in a day. Yeah. It amazes me. It boggles my mind. Yeah. Well, I even, cook a lot. E- not even with the kids. Like, with the kids, it's understandable. But, like, without the kids, I'll... Like, tomorrow, I'll go to work, and I'll probably come back to a full dishwasher. I'm like, <laughs> what did you make? I do. Well, also, like, when I make my TikToks and stuff, that takes a lot of dishes. Yeah. But that is a lot. It's not very common. So, listen. I don't know. Take it up with somebody else. It's not my problem. I would say... That's my only, like, immediate really things that bother me about you. If I really thought about it. Well, yeah. Well, no. <laughs> I'm trying to think. He leaves his towel. Oh, my God. First oh, of this all, has been, this, this man. This has been brought up 20 times in the past week, I think, to your... He people. showers in the morning. Good for you. I'm glad you're just on top of it like that. But it doesn't mean you need to leave your towel in the bedroom. On the bed. Every day. Well, I just need to let you know that I shower. You just want to remind me? Yeah. What's our favorite thing about each other? Ugh. Whatever. I like laugh. No, I don't want to laugh. Why? <laughs> he says I have a horny laugh. Oh, you do have a horny laugh. <laughs> and I'm like, ha ha, ha 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 ha. have a horny laugh. <laughs> and then I have like my normal laugh. I feel like my laugh always changes though. My favorite thing about you is... How I always say this, you're just like this asshole Thanks. teddy bear. And I just love you. Thanks. Because you just like look like this. Do you want to kiss later? But then you're so nice and you just do anything and everything. Like anytime he sees me stressed, he's like, do you need help? Or what can I do to make it better? And I'm like, fuck off. Don't ask me that again. No, it's like. I look at her. She's like, don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you know when you're pissed and then they're just like, are you, are you okay? And you're like, okay, I'm not now because you just activated the anger that I was trying to unactivate. <laughs> Guys, we talked about this podcast thing in the last, the last episode the last of whatever this is yeah. in the last live. We really want to do a podcast but we don't know what we would talk about or what it would be called yeah what could we call it now married jc penny sorry i just saw that guys isn't jc penny so nostalgic i just saw black friday jc penny earlier today <laughs> a black friday jc penny commercial and it made me think of like who doesn't think of Shopping with your grandma. <laughs> or like the December. Christmas box. You yeah, know that was yeah. JC Penny. Dillard's too. I feel yeah. like Dillard's, Dillard's is fancy. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. You had a good grandma. Well, she didn't buy me anything and she was going in, you know, shopping for Christmas gifts and stuff. Still, she went into a Dillard's. I was lucky <laughs> enough to smell a Dillard's. Okay, well, we'll know somebody who's shopped there. I think Dillard's is still pretty cool. Is I it? It's cool. We went there the other day. It was the other day, like four months ago. <laughs> well, what did we go for? I don't know. Oh, the an engagement lady. dress yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Favorite physical thing about each other. Don't say my forehead. I know you love it. It's a lot of surface area, but no. My favorite thing about him. <laughs> what is my favorite thing about you physically? I don't know. You can go with me. There's a list. Well, and I don't know what's. I'm going. trying to figure out what's most appropriate. I would say your arms. I love your arms. I like your eyes. I think are the most. And then your ass, and your boobs, and your lips, and. Your arms are nice too, and your legs, and your, you got pretty feet, and you got pretty hands. 
Stop. I'm blushing. <laughs> There's more. I love how I sit I'm sitting here just Keep telling me. Keep telling me all the things. Yeah, mine is definitely your arms. Your legs. You have great legs. You always hide them. You were trying to be humble. I feel like I look weird in shorts. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and a lot of inappropriate things that I can't talk about because, you know. Personality wise, nobody asked, but I'm going to tell you because I feel like I need to tell you personality wise <laughs> what I love about you. I just feel like when we talk about physical things about each other, we need to say non physical things. Or it just seems like physical and that seems like not nice. So I love how funny you are. I love how nice you are. <laughs> I love how soft your hands are and how soft your lips are. Oh wait, that's physical. Never mind. <laughs> I'm getting delusional. My grandma has a JC Penney's card and takes all of the kids there for shoes and coats for school every single year. That's a good grandma. I love her. Can I have her? Hey, even if they're coming for that, at least they're here. You know, it could be worse. Nobody could give a shit about me at all. That would be sad. <laughs> it's funny because I did see some sort of hate comment that was like, you guys are getting, or here, I'm going to say it wrong. You guys are all open because nobody would come to your wedding. And it's like, wait, you, you do realize like we're still having a reception, which requires people. And also on top of that, we're the ones who talked about cutting people from our you wedding. Like, Bitch, if I invited you, you would come. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's funny because people just like don't. Be they just want it to be so negative. Yeah. When they just want it to be like entertaining. And I get it. You know, that for a lot of these people, that's their whole career is talking shit on me. So they just say things without even actually knowing all of it. And when I do put all the information out there, it actually makes them not look so great. And I will say. There is a couple drama channels out there that before I was so hated on, um, I would see their videos, not necessarily always about me, but about different influencers or my friends would tell me about their videos about them. And the, their pages would be like a lot of, they wouldn't say things without facts. And so even though it was still annoying, cause like, why are you making a career off of hating people? It just also seems like such a negative headspace. Like I can't imagine constantly bashing somebody for my career for my own sakes, just because I feel like I would have such a mental my, or a like bad mental space. And so, yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. But anyways, those drama channels would really only say things that were factual. And nowadays, like, it's really crazy. The thing like these drama channels just reach. And I feel like as a viewer, I guess when you're a young viewer, like you don't care if it's true or not, you're just being entertained and it doesn't take much to make your brain have activity. But I just feel like it when you, then when you find out it's not true or it's not real, like I wouldn't want to watch them anymore, you know? I want to do, okay, I don't want to get political here. All right, but I want to do a Friendsgiving, but I don't think we should do Thanksgiving. But then does that mean I can't have Friendsgiving? Because I learned like some shit about Thanksgiving. I know, uneducated here. And it's pretty bad. So maybe we should all stop well, having Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. The peace part. But that's not true. The peace part that's made about it is not really real. So I think we should have the day before and call it our giving. <laughs> There's no other way to explain it than weird people are weird. Literally. You can still do friends, do a food with friends day. Oh, there you go. 
We're gonna have. I think. I think my dad's coming for Thanksgiving. Yeah. And then Brandon is not, because no. he started he that new job. And then for Christmas, we'll figure that out. I guess still. My dad's brother might come. Brody might. Brody might. Yeah, if he's in. Yeah. Oh my God. If I was his wife, I'd be so embarrassed to tell people his name because God forbid they find him find him on the internet. Who? <laughs> the guy, the older guy who makes drama videos, oh, who has God. children. Imagine his him. guys. Yeah. I actually have talked about this before. Maybe it was with you guys, but I do wonder. Like, there's no. Does his wife know? <laughs> like, I would not be with what do you, you. What do you do for a living? Oh, I I just shit on twenty four year olds. <laughs> Shit on 25-year-olds. Make fun of them and their kids. It's just... You wouldn't understand. You guys, I have done some shit in my life, obviously. But at least I... Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, his poor wife. I, I hope for her sake she doesn't know about it. And if she does... Well, I'm not sure. The lights are on, but nobody's home for sure. <laughs> okay, we also got snow here yesterday. Have you guys gotten any... Oh my gosh, this morning I woke up... And I walked out and saw that the catio door was open downstairs. So I was like trying to open my eyes really quickly thinking, oh shit, like did Keely get out? And I saw all white. So I was like, we got like six inches of snow. <laughs> and I was going to come up here and tell you. And then I got distracted with the birthday stuff. But I swear to God, I saw six inches of snow. Guys, the best part about that is that the catio thing... It's got white rocks on the bottom, and the, the fence posts are painted white. So, of course, you <laughs> So, I see. saw... Well, then I saw the basketball court, and it was white. So, Color whatever. Man. I hope for her sake that she's blind. <laughs> also, I was thinking of this. Okay, I'm sorry. This is not necessarily just about him. This is about, like, drama channels in general. But... You know, back in the day when I first started YouTube, when there was like haters and if you posted those haters and people went and hated on them, I would feel bad or I would want to tell people who are watching me like, no, don't go hate on them. Like we don't want to give them negativity. I'm at a different time in my life. Like, bitch, if you're talking shit, you deserve all this shit back. And I think that that's what's so weird about this generation and time that we live in where like people are protecting the people or even I felt the need to protect people who were mean or who were you know, leaving these comments and stuff. I don't give a shit. Go give them the world's hate for all I care. Because if that, if you're going to be mean to somebody, you have to be willing to like accept. I mean, as all of our parents used to tell us, all of us level-headed humans, that you get what you give. And like all those sayings, right? What is, what's the specific saying I'm thinking Treat of? People how you want to be Treat people how you want to be treated. Even my kids, I hear them fighting in the room. And Alea will be like, Avery, you treat people how you want to be treated. And like, I feel like we don't live in that time anymore. Everybody's like, well, don't be mean to him. And it's like, no, 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 no. Be mean to him. Because, first of all, that's probably what they want anyways is attention. And so I'm just done protecting people. Like, if you are going to hate, then you need to be ready to be hated on too. And that's your own problem. Because you're responsible for your own actions and the consequences that come with that, you know? Slap happy Kira is kicking in. What does that mean? Slap happy? Oh, I don't know. I like the sound of it, but. <laughs> you should have seen me in your comment section today. It was brutal to some 50 plus year olds hating on you. You know, I it's very rare that I like dig into the comments because I know it, it can be such a place of negativity. And I do feel bad for people who are defending me because I just like feel bad that, you know, then people attack those people. But occasionally when I do see it, I do, it's always people that are like way too old to be doing it. Like again, 50 year olds, which like, I just can't imagine my dad. Or, like, oh, your like parents. What? That would be so bizarre. Or, like, 10-year-olds. So, it's, like, whatever. Maybe not 10. Probably, like, early teenage years. Um, 
and it's just so weird but i do feel bad for a lot of haters because i can honestly say anytime which i've never hated online but anytime that i've been really like shit talky or negative in life i have so much of my own shit going on you know so it makes me it does make me feel kind of bad for people that are hating because they obviously are going through it but then <laughs> the other side of me is like yeah fuck you you deserve it you know I, yeah, I definitely, I'm not talking about people who don't, um, you know, like whatever they feel let down by me or my choices or all that. I'm not talking about like, again, normal people who have opinions. I'm talking about people who are going the extra mile to make their opinions be known or to just be cruel and crazy, especially when really nobody does know, you know? And I think that's the biggest thing that everybody needs to realize. Like, we see so many of these situations on bigger scales with, like, again, bigger scale, but, like, Britney Spears. Or um, there was somebody else that came out not too long ago about something that was, like, shocking. Who was it? Her label, like, owned all of her music. And the guy who was a part of her label or whatever right. was doing something to her. I don't remember the name. But anyways... We see that happening and yet people still make the choices and not just with me, but people are out here acting like they know. And it's like, can't we all just realize we have no idea? If it's not our lives, we have no idea. And imagine in 20 years, if the truth did came out, come out and how would you feel then? You know, like how would you feel to know you're extremely wrong? But it's a lot of these people would probably say like, oh, it's okay. Cause it was fun and entertaining for me to like, just be an idiot and that's fine. But I think that all these people sitting here acting like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that, like all these people with the Justin Timberlake, I can't believe we all like talked shit about her and were there for him and all this shit. And it's like, but half of you guys would still do that now. So learn something from it, you know? Have you started the Britney book yet? I did make it halfway through. I read like half of it in one night and then I haven't had the chance to since then. I feel like so much of it has been given away on social media that I'm not even sure the point to finish it. But I love Britney, so I'm going to finish it. What time is it? 9.45. I will say that um, that is one thing I feel so terrible about. The other day I had one of the first experiences where I feel terrible in a, about it in a way that I'll explain, but you know, Levi wanted to see because I uploaded my first YouTube short and I was excited about it because I think it's funny that I do social media for a living and had to Google how to upload a YouTube short. And so anyways, I told Levi like, oh my gosh, I uploaded my first YouTube short because he was sitting there and he's like, I want to see. So he got his iPad and he searched my name. And of course, <laughs> it's funny, the person talking about protecting the children is who he came across. And I could tell he was kind of like, huh? And I was just like, here, I'll find it for you and whatever. We we went on our merry way about it. Um, and my kid, especially Levi, like he's old enough to where he's always to some extent understood the situation. And I've always, I always want there to be open communication with him, but, or in all my kids, but it was one of those things where I was like, oh gosh, it's so weird. Like getting to that age where they're looking things up and. Right, well, he's so young and false yeah. information is right. easily understood. Yeah. What kind of dog do you have? A lab? We should have a doggy play date. That would be so fun. Uh, a lab and, or a lab. Lab healer. A lab healer? Are you yeah, sure? Lab healer mix, yeah. Why do I feel like lab sounds wrong? She's a chocolate lab and a half chocolate lab, half blue healer. Oh. Any plans this weekend? Or his birthday party on Saturday, which I'm so excited about. Anything else? I feel like there's something else. You have that YouTube. Oh yeah, tomorrow I'm going to a YouTube event, which I'm so excited about, in Salt Lake. 
which is a weird location for it, but hey, I'm here for it. I'm gonna wear that jumper. Um, the black one I bought. Have you worn it before? <laughs> no, I'm realizing I told Brooklyn and not you about this jumper oh. and, and the way that you're reacting. <laughs> but it's supposed to be like tea chic or something. I don't know what that Me means. Me either. So I'm wearing a jumpsuit. <laughs> I think Levi is nosy and he definitely would go back and watch that video, but I didn't tell him that he couldn't watch it. I just kind of tried to redirect him. But again, I've had conversations with him about all of the, all of the situations. Right. And so I think it's a lot more simple. It's a lot more simpler. Is that the way you would say that in his mind? And so I think when he sees those, knowing what he knows, it's like, this is, kind of crazy you know so I wouldn't stop him from watching it and if he wanted to watch it then he totally could I wouldn't be able to it's the internet you know and I would rather him just not do it in secret so we could watch it together and like I could you know hear what he has to say and any questions that he had or whatever but I worry more about what he looks up <laughs> not about me <laughs> as he gets to be an older boy there's something else I was going to say about that. About Levi. Probably it. Oh. Yeah. He's my kid. I don't remember. He does. He, he does hear you and I talk about it occasionally. Like the crazy videos or whatever. He also has heard me uh, recently. Whatever story I filmed talking about hate. And he was like, I didn't even say anything yes. yet. And he said, are you getting hate? <laughs> and I was like, yes, Levi. And then he was like, he actually brought up, I don't remember the exact verbiage now because this was like a week ago and you guys know my memory, but something along the lines of why do people or why don't people unfollow yeah. or something like that? And then I was like, you know what, Levi, I don't freaking get it either. And then I said, when you watch a YouTube video and you don't like it, do, what do you do? And he's like, I just go, like, any, because he watches shorts, you know? He doesn't watch, like, full-ass YouTube videos. So, he's like, just swipe. And I was like, yeah, it's so weird. People, and so I had, I was talking to him, and I was like, yeah, people will comment. And he's like, and what, and say what? Like, even he doesn't get it. And if an eight-year-old doesn't get it, I don't understand how these older people don't. But it also made me feel good to know that he knows that. You know, that that's not normal behavior and that I get hate. And that was a really important moment for him to see how I reacted to hate so that he knows if he gets it. And I also, it's been a great like learning thing for me to talk to Alea about. You know, I get people every day who talk about how ugly I am, who talk about how fat I am, all these things. And what do I do? Nothing. Because I don't care what they think. Like, I feel beautiful. I feel all these things because... Alea really struggles with her curly hair. And so we try different things. Every damn day before school, we try different things. And so that's a conversation we have a lot because she said somebody at school, I think like called her, told her her hair had looked ugly a certain way. And ever since she's never wanted it that way. And I, so yeah, I feel like it's done a lot for me in a good way as a mom and my kids have learned a lot from the negativity side, unfortunately, but fortunately. Exactly. I can't shelter him from it. I can just hope that he comes to me about anything and everything, not just the hate online about me. Um, so, yeah. Kids are so mean. At dance today, I heard the, this group of girls when I was waiting for Leah, they were standing in front of me. And they were older, but like still really young. I don't even know if they were teenagers yet, but they might have been. I don't, the, this, I don't know these days. And she, they were waiting for their friend to come. And they're like, I hope she didn't get this part. And the other girl was like, well, I don't care what part she got as long as she doesn't cry about it in the corner. And they kept going on and on and on about it. I was just like, Jeez. don't interject. Don't do anything. Let them live. <laughs> but a part of me was like, guys, I can only imagine. Because in girl world, right? She's going to walk up and they're all going to be like, hi part did you get <laughs> oh no I feel so nervous having three daughters
Okay, guys. I'm tapping out. All of his family has curly hair, so I think that's where she gets it. I always wondered that too for a long time, and then I was like, oh, now I see where it comes from. I love her hair curly, and I try to do a lot of different styles. I love kind of that like wet curly look. She hates it. She wants it to be straight. I don't allow her hair to be straightened. I don't, she's too young for that. I'm all about her feeling confident and good about herself, but she needs to learn to feel that way about herself naturally before she can enhance it. Um, and also she'll have plenty of time in her life. I, there's certain things I draw the line. That's one of them. So instead I try to like, you know, get it really wet and then put it in braids or do whatever style that she's liking at the time and then hairspray it to get it to stay and not frizz up. But if you have curly hair, you know, I didn't know before I had Alea, but it doesn't stay down no matter what. Hers is really curly. Yeah, hers is really curly. So it's really hard for it to not frizz up. And that's what I, that's what I think she hates the most. A lot of people I've seen comments like that of people that see her hair and are like, why don't you do her hair or this, that, or the other? I do her hair, but I also have, just like with my kids clothing, let them explore that for themselves because I know all of us, our moms used to do shit that we all look back at pictures and we're like, I hated when you did that. So I try really hard to let her choose her hairstyle and her outfits and have her own creativity in that way. But it is really hard because like the wet curls, I think she would really like it if she gave me the chance to do it, but she will not. So I'm not going to push, but Okay, anyways, I was gonna get off, then we got back on the hair topic. Thanks for watching, love you guys, and putting up with me and my crazy hair. I probably should have done mine, but last priority. Um, but yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I wanna do the day, the day in the life. I wanna do a day in the life on here tomorrow. tomorrow That's the goal. Be a good day to do it, you got a lot going on. I also have to take the girls to dance again at like two. Okay, love you guys.